gonna be showing you how to do this kind of mermaid or unicorn inspired makeup look. It was all inspired by the Lion Kind Diamond Crushes lipstick that I got. This is in Trip. I love this color. It's like a really iridescent. So pretty. So if you want to see how I got this look, then you can watch it. So let's begin. So I've already prepped my skin, I've exfoliated and put moisturising cream on, and I'm going to go with my L'Oreal Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiant. This primer for a while, it is one of my favourites. So now I'm going to go with my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and just paint my face. So sexy. <sighs> I forgot to wear my bed. I got this new beauty blender. It's so cute. It's like marble. A new swell one. I love it. I've never had an actual beauty blender. I've always just gotten real technique ones. That has made my foundation so flawless. I think it's what they were the same. But clearly, beauty blenders are actually legit the best. So last tutorial, I asked for some concealer for my foundations. Um, some of you messaged me on Instagram and you recommended the NYX HD concealer. So I grabbed it in porcelain because I wanted the highlight them. You're gonna go to die. Oh, it seems quite thick. I didn't feel like it's the lightest they could make it, but it is really good concealer. It looks good. So I'm going to do some bacon with some loose powder. So while I'm baking, I'm going to go in and do my brows. So I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, Dark Brown, along with my Sigma E. So my brows might look a little different because I finally have them done. I'm a very good so it was definitely overdue. So now my brows are done, I'm gonna go in with my Sigma F20 fluffy brush and just dust off all the powder. So today I'm going to be using my Stigma Warm and Neutral Palette. 
this little beauty here. I have dipped into this to try it out and swatch it and see what the colours are like. Um, but I haven't actually used it on my eyes yet. So I'm really excited to use this. So today I'm just going to be using the really light pink colours in this palette. Just because I'm going to be going in with a coloured eyeliner. So I don't want to take too much of the attention away from that. So first of all I'm going to go all over my lid with this colour here. And I'm using my Stinker E40 Tapered Blender Brush. I'm just using this colour to build a base and go over my foundation so the shadows can blend and they don't stick. Then I'm going to go in with this pale pink right here and just do that all over the lid. Now I'm using a fluffy brush because I don't want it to be full pigment. I just want it to be a bit of a tint on the lid and add a bit of a pink tone. So the reason why we did such a subtle and really neutral eye look is because the main star of the eye show has arrived and we're going to be using this NYX Brights Eyeliner in the eye look. It is amazing. that colour. I brought it at IMAX London and I still haven't used it so I'm excited to see what this can do. So first of all, I love the brush. It's a really nice brush. So I've done my eyeliner on both eyes. It's so pretty, I love this colour. So I'm going to go in with this pink here from the Sigma palette. I think I'm just going to do a little bit of pink on the outer edge. I like this colour because it's quite metallic -y. There you go, just to add a bit of colour, I think that looks really pretty. You guys all should know, I always mind whilst I'm doing that. <laughs> and then on the lid, I'm going to go in with my Unicorn Hearts highlighter. I'm going to use the pink shade and a little bit of the yellow mixed together. I'm using my Spectrum A07 brush. I'm going to use this just on the lid, just to open. I have to look. Make it a bit more sparkly and magical. Then I go back in with my stigma and just blend the crease a bit. So that I've done that, I'm going to go in with my Ardell Wispies and pop them on. So now my falsies are on, I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Scandalized Reloaded Mascara. I'm just going to blend the lashes together. This makes the falsies look extra thick because your lashes are blending with them. So to do the bottom lash line, I wanted like a silver colour. So I'm going to go in with my Kyrie Take Me On Vacation palette and I'm going to be using this silver right here. And I'm going to be going in with my Sigma E30. So now my eyes are done, I'm going to go in and contour with my NYX Pro Contour palette. I'm going to be using this shade here and I'll also be going in with my Spectrum A05 brush. This is a contour brush that I got in this month's Birch Box. I'll leave the link to the Birch Box below so you can get £5 off your first box and you will get this beauty or there's another one from the Glam Clan range that you can also get. It's a really soft brush. Then I'm going to go in with my Spectrum E04 brush with the same contour shade, very lightly, just to contour my nose. And with the same brush, I'm just going to run powder from the panel down. So now I'm going to go in with my Mac and Dark. HD Perfecting Powder. I love this as you know. I'm just going to go in with a little sleek brush and just brighten up the under eye area. This is my must have. I addicted to this stuff. So 
So I'm going to go in with my Milani Fate Bronzer in Zero Four Glow. I'm going to be using my Stigma F20. It's just going to warm the face up. I would like to blend my contour out. Bronzer always makes such a difference. So now I'm going to go with my Milani Baked Blusher in Luminoso. I'm going to be using a Real Techniques blush brush. I have had questions where this one's from. It's from the DVD set. Eyeliner. So I've just gone in and stuck two little star gems either side under the eyeliner. So now I'm going to go back in with my Unicorn Heart Highlighter. I'm just going to be using the purple and the blue. I'm just using a little sleek brush. Brush that on. I'm going to go in with this new highlight. This is the Makeup Revolution Golden Lights. I'm a big fan of the peach lights. I've never tried this one, so I thought I'd give it a go. I'm just going to go in with this in the corner of my eye. In the center of the nose. I'm going to keep it a bit on my chin. So for the lip colour, I do want to go in with the Lime Crimes Diamond Crushers in Trip. How beautiful is this colour? It is so magical. But I need a colour under, so first of all I'm going to go with Colourpop and Marshmallow. I think together these two will look fabulous. First of all I'm going to go in with Iconic London Invisible Lip Liner. Time for this beauty. That is one magical colour. I seriously want to eat this stuff. It smells so good. I just realised that I forgot to go in with mascara on the bottom lashes. And I'm just going to go in with my By Terry liner. Just a line, a waterline. I'm not doing it heavy, it's very lightly. Just so the eyes also stand out, not just the lips. This lip colour is just everything. It's insane. I cannot even explain how much I am in love with this lip colour. This lip colour is gorgeous. So this is the finished look. I am in love. It is so magical and pretty. Reminds me of like a unicorn and mermaid. Which I'm obsessed with. So I love how this look turned out. It was all inspired by this lip colour by Lime Chrome. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the Sigma palette as well. I haven't used the Sigma palette before. I haven't used any of their beauty products before. But I'm really impressed with the eyeshadow palettes. It's really pretty. So if you enjoyed this look, remember to click thumbs up and click down below to click subscribe so you can see my future videos. And I hope you enjoyed this look. Thank you for watching.